Andre, and welcome to the Friday update on Saturday. And that's a good thing because Friday was Good Friday. Happy Easter, everybody. And it was a fantastic day to go flying. For the first time in a long time, I expended a good number of packs. It was like 15 degrees, the warmest we've seen since November 24th for those keeping track. It's been a long winter. So I went out, I flew with my dad, got inside some good time with James, flew with my buddy uh, Jeremy, who flew his Delta Ray for the very first time. That is a very fun airplane to fly, actually. We were testing out, I was testing out all the modes, you know, basic with low, low rates. I could barely make a turn. It was just this wide arc of a, a turn. Once you went into high rates, it was a lot more aerobatic. Expert mode, I was having a hoot, flip it upside down, you know, hit the recovery button and we're off so it's a great plane jeremy did his very first flight super good it, it flew beautifully so he's going to have a fantastic flight time with this airplane so looking forward to a lot of summertime with that james i was hoping to put him on the uh, the ft racer i didn't have anything small ready to go and when i went through the remote uh, settings on my 9x even with my flash for the er 9x discovered that because i've got the sir the servos for the ailerons two different channels one and, and eight i couldn't map it to the trainer mode because it only wants to map one servo channel so unfortunately he didn't have an opportunity to fly that uh so i'm going to take the um, the guts out of my FT Scout. I'm going to pass this to my dad so he has a backup plane and we're going to go ahead and try and build up those FT uh, mini trainers so uh, the tiny trainers and put uh, a 9x into it. It's a big receiver but then I can strap my two 9x radios together do the buddy box thing and James is going to be all taken care of and we'll have a lot of fun flying those. Uh, the only other carnage from the day unfortunately is the poor EDF plane uh, and Flight one was fantastic. James got to see this thing rocket through the air. Uh, and then flight two, it started sounding a little off. So, uh, and I was noticing I was having issues running through uh, the power in the uh, on the receiver, uh, sort of transmitting to it. Uh, I just fired it up and I now think it's a bearing issue with the motor. I may have taken out a coil in the motor. I've got to strip everything down to find out. But it did run, but it was just really really rough so I've either done a bearing in or something in there so it was unfortunate because it was flying really good I was showing the guys at the field for the first time I'll rebuild it and get it back together and uh, if I have to buy another EDF I will because it was just really fun having this side project so we'll see what we can do to patch it together before spending any extra money on it but uh, you know it was fun to fly to EF, EDF and James thought it was really neat with all the loops and spirals we we're able to do um, on the other end of it from the from the guys in the field i put out a note saying i was looking at a uh, looking for a used radiant and they've come through or through i should say and i'm going to be picking up one which is perfect because it's something i definitely want to bring to flight fest when i have a chance to fly with the uh, with chris and the guys from the after hours podcast again thursday we recorded another one which was live yesterday so if you uh, want to listen to another podcast please do. Uh, I had fun with the guys talking about all our various flying subjects. Speaking of flying and new products coming, once again that Durafly P40 is on delayed. Um, they're waiting for that ME263 or whatever it is, or 6336, to, uh, to be shipped to all the locations are released, and then apparently the P40 is going to be months down the road so now it's looking like a september or christmas you know birthday or christmas airplane for me it's still i will get a warbird this year i promised myself i would whether it's the p40 now or not i don't know i am holding out and fingers crossed that it happens in the meantime i still do have a uh, microplane i want to fly this thanks for all the comments and and, and encouragement and suggestions on how to make it fly better i still haven't gone in there and modified the uh the the um the AS3X, whether it's on or off, so I will get to that, and it will go over time. Uh, I have my list of topics to talk about, because there's lots this week. Uh, a few orders came in, and uh, finally got some clear shrink wrap to use on the various uh, components that I've been receiving. That's a little DMX uh, six-channel receiver I picked up from one of the guys to field, two of them. So that's very similar to, well, seeing like how flimsy the antennas are. I'm going to have to glue solder all them back on. Um, you know, same guts as what's inside the, the, the jet, just obviously no hard case, so I'll put a, some clear uh, <coughs> cover on that one. Same thing to go with, uh, where's the Bluetooth module? Uh, this is the Bluetooth module I picked up from Banggood, and this will be used on the gimbal for the uh, S500 project. I've got another one coming in, which will hook into 
the ground station receiver for the nine uh, the 915 megahertz uh, data telemetry so same principle it's just going to go into a uh, little usb cable i'll have to sacrifice uh, but again you know, shrink wrap goes on so i've already managed to flash this thing i'm going to do a whole video series on how i step through these because obviously uh, this is an H, uh, hc5 which has got some different steps to a six where you've got to jump over between the weight key and the and the voltage uh, pin to step it into uh, a comm mode and then you just go into your Adreno or whatever comm program you want to do your AT commands which are slightly different between the 5 and the 6 uh, pretty basic and lots of information on the internet but I will step through and what this is going to allow me to do is talk to the uh, the gimbal and if I want to do any fine tuning I can just do that through Bluetooth through either a device or off my laptop which will be a whole lot better than hooking something in so the theory is I can be hovering and still have total control uh, on the on the S500 quad well I'm I'm slowly building it up I'm taking my time next project this weekend will probably be to solder some uh, of the bullet connectors to the motors and stuff like this and I'm still just getting through it all very slowly uh, I'm gonna build a plate for this guy so it's dampened for the flight controller that's the micro mega pilot from Hobby King uh, just built up a simple post for the GPS so it's kind of there and if something happens it should all be able to shear off uh, just a simple nine uh, channel or eight channel uh, radio I will go with the 433 long range stuff eventually just uh, keeping the spectrums as far separated as possible uh, just a little 200 milliwatt uh, FPV transmitter and I have gone in if you look at my photos on social media I have gone in and done a complete custom harness for the uh, OSD which is sitting up in here and the rationale, the reasoning behind that was the camera for that kit that I got from Banggood is a 5 volt, so I have to take the power off the transmitter. So basically, it's just voltage from the transmitter to the camera, ground and video single run into the OSD, then ground from the uh, and sending golf run out of the OSD into the transmitter. So I just took the wiring harness and made the all edits between the two of them and just snaked it all through. Everything will be cleaned up underneath. Whoop, see, it's not even screwed in yet because I'm all in prep still. And everything will get tidied up, but I don't want to go too far and too fast. I'm learning as I go, and then I want to do a complete series about how things are done. Um, the power board, I basically have JS connectors on everything. So there's from the, the connection terminal for the battery under there, runs it into the input on the board so I can take everything off. I can run it without or just run another battery into it so I don't have to power up the ESCs. I can, you know, all the, uh, the FPV I can tear, turn off, and same thing with the gimbal because if I choose to fly without a camera on board then I don't even have to power it up it'll just kind of hang there or take the whole thing off so everything is very modular very compartmentalized <laughs> so I can do maintenance and I've got the Q brain in there yeah it's just a basic four quad piece of uh, ESCs so yeah it should do the job it's nothing I'm not expecting anything crazy out of this so next up like I said it's the motors and we'll go from there so uh, Volunteer. If you're going to Flight Fest this year, please volunteer. I'll be on the parking crew along with Kurt and uh, some other friends. So we're going to be working hard. Hope you're there. Hope you can come out and give, lend us a hand. Uh, if anybody from Ottawa is going down and looking to do a convoy, my car, this car is full of equipment, camp equipment, planes, and everything. But I've already talked with someone else who's uh, uh, from the Gatineau side, and we're going we're gonna to convoy down and back, which is great. Safety in numbers. Uh, it is a long haul for us, but we're going to be all doing it and having a good time. So, there we go. So today, it's cold, windy, we're back to this winter weather. I saw my lawn yesterday for the first time in several months, and this morning it was gone again under another blanket of snow. So no flying today, maybe later on this weekend, but for now I'm looking to uh, probably just have some fun playing with some of the equipment, play with James, and whatever else. So hopefully Sunday, maybe Monday, we'll see you in the field. If not, have a great flying weekend. Happy Easter, everybody. Bye.